just because a particular piece of clothing is higher quality and has a dry clean only tag doesn't necessarily mean you have to dry clean it. I'm going to share all of my tips and secrets how we have never had a dry cleaning bill, but we still have a closet full of high quality clothing. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sawdust and Cornbread. I'm Laura Lee. If you are a first time guest today here on my channel, be sure to like the video and subscribe. I put out new material every week. Whenever I go shopping at thrift stores, I'm usually looking for high dollar, high quality items. Things like this cashmere sweater. I love cashmere. It's so nice and warm and you can't find anything softer. I'm not gonna pay full price for this. All of mine have come from either thrift stores or the online thrift stores. It's tempting to pass them up because a lot of them on the tag, especially like a cashmere sweater, says dry clean only. Well, that's not necessarily true. There are a lot of fabrics that you don't have to dry clean. This is a 100% merino wool sweater that I found at a thrift store. You can't get any warmer than this. It's nice and thick. I'm not going to pay to have this dry clean. What about these beautiful formal and semi-formal gowns? I use this trick rather than taking them to the dry cleaners. They look brand new, they smell fresh, they are clean and ready to go for our daughter's next formal or semi-formal event. This is one of the cases that you may want to consider dry cleaning rather than using this hack. Not the best results using this hack on line jackets like a man's suit coat or something heavier like this at the lining. It's a seasonal item. I only wear it fall and winter. So I have no problem having this clean professionally once then airing it out between wearings. But other than lined items and possibly 100% silk items because they're a little funny about spotting, I have used this hack for all of our dry clean only clothing. Never had a dry cleaning bill for any of the items. I'm going to be using this dry cleaning hack on this adorable black cocktail dress that my daughter is going to be wearing to a semi-formal event this weekend. But the method would be the same no matter what you are cleaning. So let's get to it. Cleaning your dry clean only items at home really is a straightforward process. I'm going to begin by filling my sink one third to one half the way full with warm water. You don't want it too hot to the touch or it may cause bleeding in your fabrics or even shrinkage. I'm also adding about one half a cap full of wool light gentle fabric detergent. Once you have your sink full of warm water, you're going to take your item and turn it inside out because we want to get the inside clean first, especially if this is a used item. We want to make sure to get any bodily oils off of there. So I turn it inside out and fold it in half. Then I begin pressing it down into the detergent and water mixture, forcing it through all of the woven space or the knitted spaces between that fabric. I'm literally pressing and forcing fluid through the fabric to clean it over and over. Once you have fully saturated the general surface of your fabric or your clothing piece, you can begin focusing on specific areas where you know there's excessive perspiration or bodily contact and you just want to keep that motion up of pressing it in, down, and into that soapy warm mixture until you have it nice and cleansed thoroughly. You can see by the water here that this is a very effective method. I'm going to go ahead and give the sink a good rinsing and drain that completely before I flip this clothing item right side out and begin to wash the outside surface of it. 
I'm going to make sure everything's all good and frothy here and I'm going to turn my clothing item right side out so that this time I can focus on the outside surface of the garment. I'm going to fold that in half so that it fits nicely in the sink and press it all the way down being sure that the soapy warm mixture goes through all of those knitted or woven spaces between the fabric forcing it over and over through there to cleanse as I go. If you don't have an agitator in your washer, you may be able to get by with using a delicate or gentle cycle. But what I'm doing here is mimicking that agitating action, but without the spinning and the ringing. It's very important that you never do a ringing motion on any of these fabrics. Instead, opt for lifting that out of the water and pressing it gently and swiftly into the water to get a good gentle cleanse. Once I'm sure I have thoroughly cleansed the inside and outside of the garment, I'm once again going to drain that sink and give it a good rinsing before I begin the rinsing process. I'm going to rinse from the inside out and working from the top to the bottom of the garments and I begin wetting the top the bodice part of the dress and I'm just gonna very systematically go back and forth from the top to the bottom uh, if you have a sprayer on your sink like this that has more of a shower setting I don't know how else to describe that rather than a single stream of water that works really well it makes it a lot faster and easier now that I've done the inside, I'm going to turn it right side out once again. And I find it easier to fold it in half just so that it's more manageable there in the sink. With the sink once again rinsed and emptied, I'm going to return to my dress which I have gently rolled up. I'm going to press that down onto the surface of the sink to get out any excess water. You never want to wring your item, you want to roll and press in order to get that excess water out. Now for one of my favorite hacks. Not only can you use this in order to dry your dry clean only clothes, you can use this on vacation to dry a bathing suit very quickly. I just gently lay out a clean white towel and lay my clothing item on top of there and begin rolling it in there just like a sausage or a burrito between the layers of the towel. Roll that from top to bottom until it's all inside of there, just like you would make a wrap or a sandwich. What this does is it is surrounding every surface of that fabric and by gently squeezing you can get out a lot of moisture and excess water before you hang it to dry. It cuts the drying time way down and I even go as far as if you're on vacation trying to get bathing suits dry in a hurry. I have been known to wrap those in a towel using the same method, put it on the floor and then do a little dance on top of it and it really works to get all the bathing suits dry very quickly so you don't have to tote home wet bathing suits in your luggage. Don't know that I would walk on a beautiful formal dress like this, but you can use some pressure with your hands in order to get that excess moisture out. Once you've finished that process, just unroll it and your clothing item will be inside nice and neat, not crinkled or wrinkled, but ready for you to hang to complete the air drying process. And it takes so much less time than if you had hung it straight from the sink. Look how nice and neat that is without any creasing. And here I wanted to show you that if you do choose to use it on a clip hanger, make sure to use clips that have some kind of a plastic or foam coating. You don't want it to have metal contact on that fabric just in case it may rust or it could also cause little micro picks or tears in a, a satiny fabric like this. Just make sure everything is nice and neat and I have a towel underneath there that's the same one I rolled down just in case any moisture does gather at the bottom it will suck it right into that towel and away from the hem of this skirt. 
Here you can see that I'm making sure that all of the layers under the dress are in nice and neat order, that there are no big creases or anything like that because as it dries, those creases will become pretty much permanent. So you wanna make sure that everything is laying straight and nice and neat as it should. A few final touches, I'm just making sure there's no lint or strings stuck to the dress as it dries. Make it nice and neat and I'm pretty much done until it's all dry. And here's my daughter looking beautiful, ready for her handsome date in her fresh, clean dress. I think it's pretty obvious that despite what the label said, dry cleaning was not necessary in this case. I think you'll find the same is true with many of the high quality items that you have in your own wardrobe. Thanks so much for joining me today. Again, if you're a first time guest, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to the channel. I put out new content every week. If you enjoy watching content like this where we take consignment, thrift store, or yard sale items and make them look new again, be sure to leave me a comment below. I mostly focus on home repairs and making things for our home look the way we want them to look. but. It's a good budget saver and definitely a way to stay out of debt, finding high quality clothing that are used and making them like new again. So let me know in the comments if this is something you enjoy. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next week.